So I was looking for a system cleanup tool for Android, even though most Android devices have a built-in system cleanup tool, which actually works pretty well. Like for example, I have the Samsung phone. It has a thing called device care. With this, you can do a cleanup and optimizations and all that. But what I found is that these cleanup options in most Android devices doesn't have cache cleanup option. So longer you use your device, the cache file becomes larger and larger. And at some point, we have to clean those up. So I looked up on the internet and I found out that there are some apps that you can use to actually clean up the cache files of the applications that you use on your phone. So I have these three tools here, SD Made, Facility Cleaner and One Tap Cleaner. One of them is the best one or maybe two of them are actually really good at cleaning the cache files and uh, let's just say one of these is like total disappointment or i don't know so let me actually show you guys one by one one of them is actually really good so most people recommend sd made and it has pretty good options like corpse finder uh, basically you uninstall the applications they leave uh, something behind yeah that's what it does so i can scan for it i have done this like once so it's pretty good and remember we are looking for a cache cleanup option so let's see app cleaner uh, i don't know what it does oh okay it's the cache cleanup there is no way the cache file size is only 2.6 gigabyte because i've already tested this with other applications they show bigger amount so i'm not going to delete this but we do have a option to clean up the cache files with this but the problem with these applications are that they're mostly paid okay if i really want to do a system cleanup or especially the cache cleanup i'll have to upgrade to the premium version that is the subscription and also one-time purchase just go for the one-time purchase if you like it then maybe it will just work okay i'm not saying that this app is bad but once you upgrade, then it will do better cleanup, basically. Uh, right now, uh, it doesn't. <laughs> when you subscribe or get a premium version, then it will do the 100% app cleanup, okay? So this is the most popular, or let's just say people on the internet recommend this application to do a cleanup. Pretty good options, but most of the things are just locked behind. At the premium version now let's check out the second option c cleaner i haven't seen anyone recommending this uh this is actually pretty good if you get the premium version i'm just gonna click on upgrade let's see what it does uh there is no like one-time payment it's just subscription if you want to do a deep cleanup you'll have to buy a premium plan and this app is almost not useful if you want to do a cache cleanup uh, for free. So I'm going to go and uh, click on quick cleanup and it's going to, oh, okay, commercial break. Ads are annoying sometimes. Here you can actually see hidden caches option. This is the thing that I'm looking for. Okay, this is the option that I'm looking for. I want to do a cache cleanup, but guess what? I can't do it unless I go for the subscription. But the good thing is that at least I can see it. <laughs> Basically, CCleaner for Android is just useless for me for free. Okay, I'm not talking about the premium plan. Yeah, if you want, you can go for the subscription. There is not even a one-time payment. <laughs> I better go for the one-time payment. Okay, just useless CCleaner for me. I think SD Made is better. At least you can do some cleanup, like at least 2.6 gigabytes cleanup there is a one-time payment almost six dollars way better than uh, c cleaner basically now here is my favorite one which actually works for free too <laughs> okay so this one is called one tap cleaner the dev is probably a gamer or something <laughs> one tap them yay so this is the user interface all i'm looking for here is the cache cleaner Okay, it has the dedicated option for that. I can go and click on it. And here I can actually see the cache files here. Total 2.85. Yeah, Chrome is probably the most used application on my phone. And after that, Facebook, YouTube and all that. So I have 6.12 gigabytes of cache files from 83 applications. 
okay and i can clean them up i can just I, I have this option here at the bottom to clear cache or again we can go at the top cache cleaner let's let's go here which will bring almost the same options okay never mind we have the different kind of option so we have selected the 83 applications which has 6.1 gigabytes of cache files and there is the turbo option at the bottom i don't know what it does okay now what i'm gonna do is click on this broom icon <laughs> okay and let's do the cleanup now it will bring two options here automatic manual you don't want to do the manual you have to do it manually which takes forever so we're gonna go with the automatic okay click now we have to give some permission to it so we're gonna go here one tap cleaner i'm gonna allow this okay it's from the google play store so it should be safe okay i'm gonna go back back and uh, we take advantage of android accessibility service to automate the task don't tap the screen back home button while running the task okay so now it's doing a cache cleanup now here is the thing about this it goes one by one and it will take some time definitely and look at that i'm not touching my phone okay it's doing it automatically and, and i know this is a bit longer process uh, if you have a root phone or something like that yeah it, it can do way faster so this is the best possible way to do a cache cleanup on android phone basically without any root or no nothing like that and we are almost done 81 out of 83 took almost like a five minute i guess yeah four to five minutes and uh, yeah it's actually better than doing it manually okay and look at that 6.2 gigabyte cleaned that's that's good and there is the turbo mode which i didn't use i guess it will go even faster let's let's try it okay i'm gonna select that oh that's the premium feature i guess it will go fast like super fast but we don't have to do a cache cleanup very often okay we can do it once a month or maybe like after two or three months later okay so yeah but even if you don't buy the premium plan you can watch a video ad and then it will go brrr, you know the turbo mode <laughs> okay that's better that's better this is the only thing that i was looking for now let's see what other apps have to say about this <laughs> okay sea cleaner do you think you can still find the cache file you found around six gigabyte it wasn't six gigabyte but let's see how 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 much you find okay commercial break again okay oh look at that mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah we cleaned up the uh, cache file <laughs> no problem uh sd made is also good there was a older version of this i, I mean there was just sd made app only but this is a new one se i guess uh, now it has more premium services <laughs> okay i'm gonna do a scan yeah it also didn't find much cache file this is how you can do a system cleanup on android phone and basically like for full system cleanup you don't need any of these applications but for the cache cleanup yes you need applications like this and in my opinion one tap cleaner is the best one and again as i said you don't have to do this very often do it once a month if you use your phone a lot like you're really deep into your phone all the time and using different applications yeah one month and uh, if you don't use your phone that much just casual phone user take your time and do the cleanup after a couple of months maybe three four six and yeah that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you have any questions or have any suggestions or have anything better than this application to do the cache cleanup, please let me know in the comments and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye.